Hi students, today we are going to study NCRT class 8, Geography first chapter, Resources. What is resources? Anything that can be used to satisfy a need is called the resources. Example, water, electricity, vehicles, textbook, vegetables, fruits, etc. These are the resources. Then the next term is utility. We know that all resources have a utility. Utility means what is the use of a resources that is utility. Utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resources. How does something become a resources? Its use or utility gives its value. All resources have the value. Value means worth. Some resources have economic values, some do not. Examples gold, silver have an economic value, but a beautiful landscape is not have economic value. Then types of the resources. Resources are classified into three. Natural resources, human made resources and human resources. First, we are going to study the natural resources. Natural resources means resources that are obtained from the nature and used without much modification. Natural resources are classified into different groups depending upon their level of development, use, origin, stock, distribution, etc. First, we are going to study on the basis of origin, natural resources can be classified into two, biotic and abiotic. Biotic means living things that are plants, animals. Abiotic resources are non-living things such as soil, rock, water, etc. Then next one, on the basis of stock, Natural resources can be classified into two, renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable means these resources are renewed quickly. Examples, solar energy, wind energy, water, air, etc. Non-renewable resources are, these are not renewable quickly. These are limited in stock. One stock are exhausted or finished. It may take thousand years to renew it. Example, coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Next one, on the basis of development, resources can be classified into two, actual resources and the potential resources. Actual resources means, uh, these are the resources whose quantity is known. These resources are used in the present, that is coal deposit in rural region, petrol in the West Asia, dark soil of Deccan Plateau in Maharashtra. That means actual resources means we know the quantity of the resources and we used that resources in the present time. On the other hand, potential resources e are the resources whose entire quantity may not be known and these are not being used in the present. These resources could be used in the future time. The level of technology we have at present may not be advanced enough to easily utilize these resources. Example, uranium found in Ladakh are the example of potential resources. And the one thing, the high speed of winds were the potential resources are of 200 years ago. But today that are the actual resources. That means before 200 years the wind energy in the Tamil Nadu uh, areas are the potential resources. Now it is the actual resources. Then on the basis of distribution, natural resources can be dis divided into two ubiquitous and localized. Ubiquitous means the resources that can found everywhere in the, in the world. That means air, we breathe, that is the ubiquitous resources. 
Next one is localized resources that are found only in certain places that are localized. Example, copper, iron, etc. So we can say that the distribution of resources are not equal. The distribution of natural resources depend upon so many physical factors like terrain, climate, alti altitude, etc. Next, we are going to study the human-made resources. Human-made resources means what? People use the natural resources into their own resources. That is human-made resources. Examples, bridges, road, machines, vehicle, etc. are the human-made resources. That means people use natural resources to make human-made resources. Now we are going to study human resources. Human resources means people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge, skill and the technology. So human beings are the special resources. People are human resources. Education and health help in making people as a valuable resources. So we should develop the human resources. Human resource development means improving the quality of people's skill. Then only people are create more resources. This is human resource development. We know that our resources are not equal in everywhere. These are unequal. So we should conserve the resources. We know that resources in the natural are distributed in unequal. So, we should use the resources carefully. We should give time to get renewed. This is conservation of resources. We also should do the sustainable development. Sustainable development means we should reduce the use of resources and we should conserve the resources for our future generation. These are all about this chapter. I think it's clear. Thank you.